What's up guys? I don't know if I post or if you saw my last video that this car didn't run when I tried to start for the first time and the problem was it did not have a spark. So I upgraded from the OEM uh, 2JZ GE especially from Lexus uh, they are like this the the coils and then you have a connector to the other uh, the paired cylinder, which means this is called spark, uh, waste spark, uh, which is the the number of ports used is half of the number of cylinders. So it fires cylinder one and six together, two and f five together, and three and four together. So just wire them together, tell the computer that's waste spark, and then boom, it it works. So I decide to upgrade, and I did this in here. I added Toyota Supra uh, coils and they are of course dumb coils you see two wires and with that I needed to add also a igniter problem with that is my ECU didn't have a port for the IDT to tell the igniter that the car was running so it was okay to start working and with that I think I think that's a problem it didn't work but at the end of the day uh, I don't know if my problem was the igniter because I bought it used never saw it working I don't know if my problem was the coils um, I don't know what my problem was so uh, I decide to of course um, people were telling me to ditch the igniter before I buy it so um, I bought smart coils from Toyota Yaris, uh, some Lexus, and you know, there's a bunch of cars that use this same auto here. And what we're going to do is, I'm going to upgrade uh, not just the wire loom because I'll need to take this out of here. I'm going to upgrade all of them by from that to this, so it's a little higher than that, which is going to be a pain in the butt, especially when it gets in here. I'm not sure if I will be able to put that cover on. Uh, or I'll need to poke a hole in there anyway that and also I've made some little uh, spacers so I could tie those guys pretty good um, and it can be like this right so I need to tie them uh, first thing is they are not get tied to this thing in here um, that's the first question the second one is I have plates sorry I'm talking a lot I have plates I made before, so I'm going to try to get those plates put in there, poke holes in here, circular holes, and then fit this on the bottom. So, yeah, let's get started. Let's go. So we upgraded from this to this with the igniter, and now we are going to go to these guys here. Um, you see the difference between height is huge. So it would be super awesome if I could use this bottom booth, but you know, I won't even try. I'm going to sell that to someone and this here is going to look like this. Let me show you. Done. Yeah, it's not bad at all. I, I have my doubt that this is going to ever work in here. I mean, here. Well, yeah, it's kind of high. I might be able to tighten a little bit, but I'll always have a little space, a little gap in here, or, or it's going to be like that. Uh, yeah, or I'm going to need to shave something off. So, so far, I have these plates here that I cut, and those should work perfectly. And what I need to do now is be sure that I get the correct distance between here and here. Um, so I'm going to use this, I'm going to measure, and then I'm going to poke two holes in there so we can bolt on here. This is what I'm going to do now. I got two sockets and they all go through this spark plug and they're all going to be um, high enough so I can grab this close to the bolts so this is going to give me the exact size or, or exact distance between 
everything. So I'm gonna get blue tape. I'm gonna get enough to cover from this hole to that one. I'm gonna, just gonna go like this and where this so I'm gonna poke the holes or mark them okay so one hole is here the other hole let's be sure that this is straight it is here and now the sockets so I'm gonna draw a circle this seems to be the center and here this one seems to be a little lower so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take this I'm gonna put that same one and let me align that again so I'm more interested on the center because I knowing when the center is Um, I can make a nice circle. So let me do a little test. So I cut that in the paper and this is the result. This goes right down there. There you go. Of course it needs to be a little higher, but this is the bolt that I select that I choose to put in there that's gonna dictate how high this is, this is gonna be. Uh, but I mean technically this is just supposed to help this boat here sit in place so technically like this or like this and the other one is going to be the same so now I need to be sure that the other uh, hole is going to be in place and aligned so this is going to be nice and the other thing is I need to be sure that all the plates are the same all right two holes down and that's it right here one and two and now how about these guys in here so then I just need to be sure I poke the other holes somewhere where I still have like spot to put the the spark thing is or I would need to go straight like this and you know it is what it is so I'm gonna poke the, all the plates and we're gonna test all of them and see how they are It is hot here. Look, it's gonna be something like this. Of course, I don't need any of that. And this plate is gonna come way up here. And I just need to poke two more holes, and yeah, the connectors will be there. <clears throat> uh, this connector gotta be like very close to the hole, but not quite. Uh, so I have some spot here to flick it. So yeah, I'm gonna make all of those. I'm not gonna show the process and then we are gonna go from wiring. Now for the height, um, I put a bolt in here and I know this is a good height because it's gonna touch the top of it and it's gonna be perfect. And this is what I'm gonna try to do here. I am going to sneak in there. There you go. Made a little dot. Now I'm gonna get this piece in here. And this goes in there, right? We need to account for this much. And whatever else gotta be on that marker. So I'm gonna do like this and mark right in here. And this is gonna be my size. All right, last one. Uh, there you go <clears throat> done so this is actually quick so I have six of those here um, all same size so those are going to keep those plates above uh, on the right height Ugh. on the right height so I don't need to worry about 
touching, squeezing, and all that stuff. One more thing I need to do is I need to poke another hole, and then I'm gonna put a rib nut, which is going to be used to screw down um, those guys in there. So, so far, uh, we're going to screw the plate. We made the plates. We're going to be able to screw the plates and make them uh, uh, solid in there. And now when we put each one of those coils, we need to be able to screw those coils on those plates and the rib nuts is going to let us do that. So I just need to figure it out an angle and you're going to do it. So just a little play around. Um, there you go. It fits perfectly. The height is pretty decent. And yeah. Now I just need to find a good angle, um, as you see here, the angles work well in here, I can plug, plug, plug. Um, the only, the only thing, uh, the back ones, I gotta decide um, where they're gonna angle to because if I angle those to the back, I, I might not be able to connect, so I might need to connect and then tie them down, which is not a problem. Uh, the other thing is, this might be a problem. Uh, yeah, it's like a, such a nice piece, but doesn't it doesn't quite go in because this thing is touching right there. So, yeah. I'll, I'll trim this, I'll do something, um, but this is going to be later. Now I'm going to align this here so I know exactly where this hole is going to be done. And I'm going to just make a little mark. Uh, the camera is right in front of me, but I'm going to try my best to go around it. There you go. So this is, those are the two places where I am going to drill the holes to put the uh, rib nuts. Nice. So this is perfect. And what we do now, since we are here, you got this thing here, screw this guy all the way to the end, and now we're going to squeeze. As we squeeze, I just need to be sure that this is straight, and this is going to pull it tight, and done. Look at how beautiful. And then, from here, we can put our... Um, coil and we're going to screw so you're going to see in the car in a minute I'm going to do the other one which is right here and done all right so this is the final thing we need to do for those brackets so we have one there bolt and nice and the other one. There you go. So, some of them, the bolts on the side, pull this down, and this is actually gonna pull it up, so. There you go, look at that. Wow, I, I gotta tighten a little more, but it's impressive. Look at that, super sturdy. So yeah, this is how it's gonna look like at the end. Um, we just need to do that in all those six, and from here we're gonna do the, the wire harness. All right guys, that's gonna be it for this video. 
Um, I broke this in two videos. This video is going to be all the plates. As you saw, the next video I'm going to undo the harness I've done before with the dumb coils uh, for the dumb coils and I'm going to rewire everything for the smart coils. So watch out for the next video, it's going to come up in two days. So don't forget to subscribe, leave that little like button, make a little comment here if you have anything uh, uh, to add to this video or to tell us how you did it or a better way to do it. And I'll see you on the next video.